G'day ladies and gents, Cubic Media here for a quick little video about free simple autocrafters you can use for the output of your farms. For these contraptions to work, you will need the auto crafting table feature implemented by Deadly and Sky Rising. Our first auto crafter is a simple block compactor. This works by keeping the output locked until the crafting table is full. Once this happens, the signal strength of this redstone dust gets bumped up to 15, overriding this comparator's reading of the empty composter. This will then force the torch to turn off, unlocking our output and pulling out our compacted item. Here is a simple setup for compacting iron into blocks. You can hook up a double speed item filter, or you can have it single speed. Something to keep in mind is that the different configurations of crafters are limited at various speeds. If we look closely, we can see that this hopper feeding in from above runs at 100% hopper speed. That means if you just use a single speed item filter, there aren't really any hassles. However, we're using a double speed item filter here, which ideally runs at 18,000 items per hour. However, if we look at this hopper underneath, which feeds into the side of the crafting table, it only runs at 80% hopper speed. And so in total, this crafter is only able to consume at 16,200 per hour, even though our double speed item filter can supply it with items at 18,000 per hour. This means if your farm design already uses double speed item filters, you might need to add a little bit more slices in order to keep up. But this effect is minimal, only requiring an additional compactor for every 9 slices that you originally had double speed filters. But fortunately, all of these designs are one wide tileable, so you can simply scale them up to the rates of your farm. Our second design is a really simple item converter. Upon receiving an item, it will lock the input until it has consumed the ingredients. So this can be used for any recipe where a single item converts into two or more other items. This design is made really compact with the use of a target block. Although you can also simply redirect the dust to obtain the same results. Once again, one wide tileable. However, this time the consumption speed is dependent on our recipe. For example, bones produce three bone mill each, and therefore, while splitting a bone, this will be running at one third the speed that you input the items. However, if we're doing something like gold blocks, where one gold block produces nine gold ingots, it's going to cut the speed to one ninth of a hopper speed. In order to mitigate this, compare two of them together like I have with this simple bone compactor. First, we split the bones into its constituent bone meal. Then we can feed a simple compactor in order to make the bone blocks. And even though pairing two of them together we get a bit of a boost in speed, it's still only 60% hopper speed for this particular setup. Our final one wide tileable crafter is a special case for converting sugar cane into paper. For this recipe we need to combine the mechanisms for both compacting and splitting in order to get something in between. We begin with the output locked as the ingredients enter the table. Once it crosses the threshold, it will briefly switch states, unlocking the output, so it begins pulling out the paper. The instant one of the paper gets removed, the ingredients will be consumed, and then it will unlock the input again, ready for the next set of ingredients. Unfortunately, this process of switching states consumes a lot of time, limiting our speed to about 55% hopper speed. So we craft paper at about 4,900 per hour. So there you have it. Three really simple one wide tileable autocrafters for dealing with those pesky farm outputs. Hopefully this demonstrates that not everything about the autocrafting table is insanely complicated, as these designs are super easy to whack together in your own resource farms. Hope you enjoyed the short video and see you next time.